for all we know. We but if they left world, more than likely they left a trail. So who the gang? Yeah. They're not gonna leave. They might. There would have to be. There would know there'd have to be at least. Yeah, there would have to be a pretty big pull to get them to leave. Because mm -hmm. with how things work around here, they they got like opportunities galore. They both run things and simultaneously have nothing at the same time. Do you guys know of any gangs here? Because this is a poor. <laughs> yeah, like they 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 might have the opportunity to be like the big fish around here, but that's Just fish in a here. very 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 large pond. Okay. So do you guys know of any gangs around here? Know where to look, or know how to go about it. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few gangs. I mean, any likely? There's gangs? never not any. Is what we're saying. <laughs> well, yeah. What are, <laughs> what, are like, some, what are some gangs that you know it's, of? It's, it's Zach Thomas. Oh, fucking gangs. Well, you've got the, the most uh, prominent one. Well, I mean, back in the day, there were like the Chid Nibblers. We had the we had the Hong Grease Hong Monkeys. Numbers. There's a couple of. Uh, Laser boys around town for a while, but they they got out quick. Do I know any of these games? <laughs> uh, it's it, it sounds like pure rubbish to you. You've never heard any of the names. <laughs> never um, heard of the Hong Stunglers or the Two Do you want to? Do you want to? I feel okay. I'm just putting this out there. I feel like we're not taking advantage of sense motive enough <laughs> as characters. <laughs> I do kind of want a sense motive. Um, Go ahead. Yeah. Do you want me to contest it in any way, or just? See what he. We'll see what he rolls first. That's an eight. An eight. Um, yeah, go ahead and. Uh, <laughs> well, it's kind of telling whether the uh, skills are or the uh, checks are there, but uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a uh, bluff. Yeah, we'll do bluff. Because we'll that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's an eight as well. <laughs> Total? <laughs> yeah. Because so I have a really negative like, two and I rolled you a ten. Guys, so it's it's you're, you're you you've not had a, have enough. <laughs> We're both <laughs> breakfast. Each other the sugar water. <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. squint of water. You've got you've got the squint. Like you've got more. You got you know like this. You're trying to read him. He's just trying to not have as much light go into his eyes because he's still hung over. So it looks like he's trying. He's being shifty. But you don't. My blank hole. <laughs> and there's me, master bluffer, just watching them both just like i'm just uh, eating watching just like what's happening it's too uh, early <laughs> um but uh you know just for your guys reference as far as like what knowledge you have um you know there is quite a bit of you know uh cartel criminal underground activity um you know this the names very well could change on a daily basis almost yeah. sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the... Uh, the Crunkle Kicks. The best ones don't uh, have names. But, Just reputations. But a lot of the, a lot of the common commonalities between the uh, you know, gangs or the cartels is that in one way or another they're involved with the ice trade. Uh, like the ice, the, the uh, you know, industry that uh, you know, runs the ice from mm -hmm. the winterlands to the various kind of new other places of Akaton, mm -hmm. you know, with as desolate and, you know, dangerous as some of the uh, locations outside of civilized space, like the Slothscar Hills or the uh, Kavari Plains or the Dry Delta. Um, you know, it, it, it's not hard for industries to, you know, think about paying for protection. You know, in one way or another, be, be it legal mercenaries like a security force, or you know, people that might be a little less, a little more shady. But you know, there's no, there's no shortage of that type in S two R for sure. So there's a couple ways we could go about this. Yeah, <clears throat> we could, we could talk to. Some of the mercenaries that we saw last night, maybe ask them some questions, but they, you know, don't like to be too loose-lipped about things at those times. They seem like they just got off a job all the nights. And depending on their reputation, you know, we might not get too much information about past clients from them. Or we should go to the source. We could try and uh, pose as part of the ice moving operation and try and get some protection for our shipment. You know, something like that. Yeah. We reach out to them. 
in a, mm -hmm. in a, oh, we're, so, uh, look at us little sheepies, so innocent, Get, you know, come on board and help us, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, because we're not, we're not going to be able to withdraw information from anybody if they're that scared of these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only way we're going to get information is firsthand. Yeah, like, the chances of us just running across somebody that we've, so it somehow slips that they're a part of that organization, we're not going to be able to, like, unless they're really low level, they're not going to know too much for us to, like, intimidate it out of them or do anything like that. So we'll probably have to, like, get in bed with these people or get involved directly somehow. Hmm. You have ideas, Soren? Um... Not particularly. I've never really been to this planet. Never dealt with the gangs here, so probably would be best to just well follow these guys' lead. They if there's an organization of like a big shipment of ice, mm -hmm. you know it's gonna be dealt with with within the gang, and they're gonna right. oversee a lot of those things. If anything gets done on this planet, there's definitely gangs involved. <laughs> yeah. So we should go to the biggest, you know, money making outfit they have here, and I think that's the ice transports that's a big deal here and they're gonna they're gonna have their hand in every part of it too it's not just gonna be like the transportation or protection it's gonna be they're probably gonna have people who are part of the extraction like team and let them know what's going on they have probably have people who are mechanics for the transportation people they probably have you know fingers in every part of this pie so mm -hmm. we could try almost any avenue as long as we're go in that direction. And the, like, just because they're a gang doesn't mean they might operate like a gang, per se. They might be treading more of, like, corporation-type waters, where they are organized in such a way that they seem completely illegal, or they are so proliferated that everybody knows that they're a gang, but nobody cares, you know? Yeah, the, the gangs aren't necessarily just some neighborhood dudes that got together and they could be put together by some random corporation, too. All sorts of... There's every type of every sort of gang. <laughs> One person can be a this gang Wild West on this way. planet if they're good enough at what they do. Yeah. So it's going to be tough. I'm not hearing a plan. Well, uh, that's the thing, though. Like, get on the inside. There's, yeah, there's... That's the, it's kind of shitty, but they're, the best way to learn how these people operate is to be them. To, to just interact with them because so much of it is unknown. So much of what they could do, what their resources are, are completely unknown until you get into oh business gosh. with these people or into a place where you're actually like in close enough proximity to see for yourself. You want to be a, an exporter? Like a business exporter? Of, well, of I mean, I get, we, I don't think we'll get to choose what we do. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying we're an outside, we're a third oh. party coming into these guys, asking them for right. an extraction of ice for our own benefit. And whoever we talk to about their extractions of ice, <clears throat> that's the person we talk to about this stuff. Well, there's that, pr pr approaching them as a customer, but I think we'd almost find out more if we went in ground level as a employees. I'd be fine with that. So then we can actually be within the organization kind of and then like they would be they wouldn't be as suspecting of us I guess. They don't. They might know you. You're from here. Us? Depends on who it is. Oh master of the skies, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say Soren and I do that, and you guys track a different avenue. Something more inconspicuous. Because you, you might be found out. So you guys... They might know who we are. I mean, if you know these gangs, you listed off a bunch of them. Especially if any of the gangs are involved in taking out Ted's shop. Actually, yeah. We, we, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. How do you say, uh, I, say I, about that song? Sounds like a plan to me. So you two go in and infiltrate whoever this gang is that's got the most sway. 
then okay. we will go our own little direction here and see what we can find out about okay. things around here. Yeah, play it close because uh, you might be found out somehow. Right. We don't want to really try not to act, as, act associated with you. Right. <laughs> um, gotta be secret. Yeah. Sneaky. Skullduggery. Uh, yep. So what would you guys do? No time for Rihanna Skullduggery. I mean, we'll work our back channels. Yeah, we're yeah. It's the the less specific we are with you, the better. Mm -hmm. For your own kind of protection. Oh, we'll be in communication on our. Mm -hmm. Beep boops. Yep. Yeah.